Hey, it's Dan. Uh, I'm in the streets of Belfast, Northern Ireland. Um, today I'm going for a traditional Ulster fry up, which is basically the Northern Irish breakfast. Ulster being one of the traditional Irish region in the north of the island, and Belfast being the biggest city of the region. So I'm looking for a place called Megis May. We are in the Botanic Garden area of the city of Belfast, it's close to the University of Belfast. This city is really beautiful in the morning, but uh, check out that place. I think I actually found it. Um, it's across the road. It's called Magis Mays. All right, let's cross the road. Let's see if they are open, so I think, oh yeah. Is it open? Fantastic, thanks man. Any sauce? Uh, what should I get? Brown sauce. Brown sauce, yeah. yeah. So I've got my Ulster fry up and it's beautiful. There are many different things in this thing. It's quite similar to your English or uh, you know Scottish fry up, to be honest. Although there are a few different elements that I need to highlight. Let's have a look at what we have. We've got a slice of bacon, well two slices of bacon actually, two eggs, mushrooms, fried mushrooms, and baked beans, we've got a big tomato, a sausage, what is this? Is that like an hamburger or something? I don't know. Black pudding and white pudding as well. That's fantastic. What am I not seeing here is the potato bread and the soda bread. Uh, have you got put soda bread and potato bread as well? Or oh, you don't get them on the Irish breakfast? Right. Is there a chance that I can add them on and yes, pay, yes. pay them extra? Yes, so potato bread and soda bread. Put, yeah, and so this would be so this would be the black pudding, yeah? Black pudding. This is white pudding. White pudding, vegetable roll. This is a ve veggie roll. Veggie roll, fantastic. Thanks okay. Because while I wait for my potato and soda bread, I'm just gonna get started and uh, let's try the bacon. I think the bacon has got lots of fat time. I like how the, this bacon really looks like. Let's slice a little bit of piece of bacon and try this thing. This bacon has a lot of fat in it and it's incredibly tasty, a little bit salty. Look at the ratio between the fat and the meat. Look. That's, that's proper bacon. Bacon is called rushers. Alright. Okay. Fantastic. Thanks mate. Cheers. I have got my potato and soda bread. The potato bread looks pretty much like a um, potato scone. It's quite hot. And I think the correct way to use it is to dip it into the egg. So hopefully my egg is gonna have a little bit of a runny yolk. Let's dip it into the egg. The yolk is runny exactly how I love it. And let's try this potato bread with yolk. Mm. The name potato bread is a little bit deceiving because it's not bread, there's no bread in it, it's just potato pretty much. And yeah, with the yolk it goes absolutely perfect. It's not salty, it's not being salted at all, it's much less salty than the potato scone that you find in Scotland, which is not bad, it's not bad because uh, this breakfast is already pretty salty. I've got a veggie, a veggie uh, roll, like kind of sausage here. This is a new element, I've never seen it in any breakfast around the UK. Let's try it. Yeah. It's veggie in the sense that there's got vegetable in it, I think spring onions and stuff, but it's definitely meat. It has, it looks like um looks like burger meat really. Um well yeah, it's definitely meat. I am very curious to try the soda bread. Soda bread looks fantastic. It's 
Absolutely, it's very crispy. Though. It's actually soft. It's actually mostly soft, but um, it's got a crispy kind of uh, edge. I think you're gonna dip this into the baked beans. Get some baked beans. The soda bread is amazing, the crispy top and inside it's quite fluffy, it doesn't have a, great, a strong taste of anything, it's pretty much bread but it's warm and it's just put some some rushers over it. But I'm quite curious about the black pudding because um, I've had black pudding in black pudding and white pudding in Scotland and it's pretty good there. So let's see how it compares. Black pudding is a must in any fry up. So this is basically like a uh, blood sausage, minced with uh, oatmeal and different spices and stuff. So you have got a strong hearty taste, salty, um, a little bit irony as it should be really. And quite soft, it's not been overcooked so. We've got some brown sauce. Let's put some brown sauce over some uh, soda bread and eat the white food. Give it a try with a little bit of hip sauce. Mm. Less of a of an irony taste compared to the black pudding. It really tastes like a what can I say? Like a a, a meat but tea. It's got like lots of fat in it. Uh, me this entire egg in my potato stone. Sorry, potato bread. I think I'm just gonna fold it and hold it like a slice of pizza and that's just my Italian side mm. The egg has been cooked to perfection It's nice and runny and crispy on the edges Let's get into the sausage, you know, in the Scottish breakfast you actually get a square sausage and a link sausage. It looks like we've got only a link sausage, as I, as I thought the square sausage is just a Scottish thing. We've got some slices of <clears throat> simple uh, bread, but I'm not going to use them, I'm just going to try this. I think it's a pork sausage. Mm. A simple sausage. Um, not a lot of seasoning and not, not black pepper, it's not spicy. Yeah. You need to chase everything with a strong cup of black tea, which I've got. 